The huge magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake off Kamchatka triggered tsunami warnings all around the Pacific. Here's how that system can forecast different tsunami heights for different California cities almost six hours before they arrive. Tsunamis are a series of waves that are generally produced by upward motion of the seafloor, displacing the water that's above it. So if the fault moves horizontally, or only deep below the surface, there might not be any tsunami at all. That means that it's not enough to know the magnitude of the earthquake. We need more information to forecast the tsunami. Fortunately, tsunamis travel across the ocean at a known speed, so as soon as we know a tsunami exists, we can quickly warn people when it will arrive at their location. Those warnings were released for Alaska and Hawaii within 10 minutes of the earthquake. The next step is forecasting the height of those waves. Seismic data gave us information about the earthquake itself, but the first buoy sensors in the ocean that measure the height of the actual waves give us the info we need for the rest of that forecast. For the Kamchatka earthquake, the tsunami met the first buoy after 35 minutes. Two more buoys within 60 minutes. Forecast models used that pattern to match up a simulation that could show us what to expect everywhere else. Two hours after the earthquake, the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center released the first forecast of expected wave heights all down the U.S. west coast. And that actually requires knowledge of each location, because the shape of the coastline can funnel and amplify the tsunami. That's the case for Crescent City, California, where that first forecast was for 3.1 to 5.7 feet for max wave height, while San Francisco was told to expect waves of less than one foot. As more data comes in, the forecast model gets revised. In this case, some numbers changed a little bit. For example, Crescent City's forecast dropped slightly from 3.1 to 5.7 to 2.6 to 4.8 feet. When the tsunami did arrive, that peak wave there measured 3.9 feet. It was pretty good. In the past, there have been terrible tragedies because people were surprised by tsunamis from earthquakes on the other side of the Pacific that they had no idea occurred. Now, because of this warning system, we give those people hours to evacuate. 